Hi my lovelies. Oh, just come back for another whip and chat. But I'm doing colouring. I thought I'd carry on with this um, Joanna Basford Enchanted Forest one I've been doing with you. So. Oh. Can you see it if it's there? I'll move my chair over. Excuse the scraping of the chair. That's my piece of paper to do my scribbles on. I've got my chart with all my colours on. So I've got Black Widow, Scorpion, Spider, Cobra as usual. But I have got extra now, the Black Widow Skin Tones as well, because I've got them sets when they were on offer on Amazon. Now, on my other colouring one that I'm doing, I if I found a combination of colours that I like, I've started to write it down on this piece of paper. Because I forget, I can't remember these things. I've got an awful memory. So I found a new one last night. So I'm going to try that on a leaf. And then I thought we'd have a go at doing these up here. What do you think? So it says I put the name of the pencil on which set it comes out of. Because otherwise I'm hunting. So I have got them out. So I want a Cobra Forest. Oh! So that's a Cobra Forest. And the Cobra Cobra. It's a good name, isn't it? Cobra Cobra. There's the Cobra Cobra. And um, scorpions. Where's the scorpions? And scorpion olive green. That's at the top. And then skin tone dark. We want. What do we want out of that one? We want the suede. The suede. So I keep that there because I forget what order. So that's the four that we've got. Yeah? So we're going to put forest at the bottom, then olive green, then a cobra, and then a suede. That's the idea. Whether it looks okay on this page, I don't know. But we're going to give it a go. So what should we choose? See decisions, decisions now, because they're all different types of. Should we do these two here? And them two big ones there. Yeah. That's, can you see all right? You can see me going in there, can't you? So I'm going to put some. I'm going to just put a little bit of the dark on the. The veiny bits put a little bit of dark there and I'm just gonna put it very lightly then on top and go to the next color scorpion and I'm just gonna go over the light a bit and then work my way up I'll just talk through this one and then I'll just carry on coloring them and whittling on What was that one? Other oh, cobra one. So I always think if there's a little bit of whitish there, then that colour will blend in with that. And then on top, a little bit of suede. And I just blend that colour in. See? Quite like it. Do you like it? Like I like it. As I say, it doesn't matter really if anybody else doesn't like it because you're colouring for yourself. Different if you were a professional and you were doing it, you know, being paid to do it. But when you're doing it for yourself, it doesn't matter, does it? Just put really hard pressure down the bottom and then go lighter. And then go lighter again. And do that with all the colours. It's up to you how far you come up and how far you want for each colour. So I might come a little bit not as high with that green this time. So I've got more of this one showing. And finally in with that one, the suede.
and I've got a bit of a harsh line there I don't like that so I'm going to go back in with very very lightly just went over the top with that colour there which was the what was it the olive green just to take that harshness out and that's it that's all I'm going to do with that one and I have noticed I've gone over the line there you'll probably notice a lot but I have had a letter from the eye optician saying why haven't you come and had your eyes tested you're well overdue so there's a better ad so I'm going to book it this week hopefully so I'm going to do that one and that one but it's slightly different to that one I think so I'm going to do the, again the veiny bit in the middle with the darker I'm not worried if it's not all. Thank you, Bobbed. Do that one as well. Yeah, so what's the weather like with you lot? It's been snowing here today, believe it or not, in Wales. Some parts have had to close roads in certain things because cars are slipping and sliding everywhere. But we haven't had any that stuck. It came down and then it was like, um, then it went to sleep. And now it's just drizzling. But it's supposed to, they're predicting that we might get a bit more to fall tonight. But I said, I'll believe it when I see it. Do you know what I mean? But it has gone cold. My heating clicked on at 13. So that's showing how cold where usually we have it. Usually have the um doesn't click on because the room temperature is usually about twenty, but it did click on today. It did. Well, I had it to click on at fifteen yesterday, and then, as I say, it didn't even reach fifteen before it clicked in today. It um. Sorry, on. I'm confusing myself now. It clicks off. You put it on what you want it to click off at. So if you wanted it to click off at once it reaches 20 degrees, it clicks off. Yesterday I had it on 15 degrees to click off. Um, and it clicked. And it hadn't been clicking on because it was, um, you know, it was 15 degrees or above. Um, but this morning in the night it clicked on. So it must have dropped below 15 and then it clicked on again before 15 again then clicked off but I found it too cold so I moved it up to a 20 because it was a bit on the cold side so I said to ground I think I'm going to leave it oh god god it's well over the line there I think I'm going to have to leave it that it clicks off at 20 now not on 15 because it is temperature is dropping drastically I said we're lucky some places have had it heavier than us I said ours was just a bit of a shower I said it can do what it wants when everybody's home but when I know somebody from the family's out and about like Josh is at his friends which is about 30 something mile away his friends just come out he's been gone into the to the RAF um, so he's done his basic training and everything he's going in as an officer um, but he's done his basic training, so he's come home this weekend. So uh, Josh and a couple of his pals have been invited up to see him, which uh, is great. So they've gone up there, but they're not due back till I think it's tomorrow night. They're going to come back. But um, we shall see. And Grant's gone out to a craft fair as well, so you know what I mean. You think snow's coming in, and I'm like, mm. and Grant's car doesn't like the snow. He's got a polo and it doesn't like the snow. Well, my car doesn't like the snow. Well, I don't know actually if my car likes the snow. I don't think it will because it's got and got a little engine on it. Mind you, mine that car's probably a little bit heavier than his. Because it's a Mazda 2, the old type, 2007 one. So, um, you know, not that we mind, neither of us mind. We both drive on snow. Um, 
because when other people are, don't know are not sure how to drive on it if they slide do they know that they you know turn the wheel into the slide not away from the slide and not to hit the brakes and you know things like that so i worry that somebody else is gonna not how he's gonna drive but um yeah if other people see him okay so he's, he's due to home tonight he probably will get home about six ish tonight so I phoned him earlier, I said, what's it like? He said, it's absolutely freezing where we are. He said, um, they're in a hall, but there's no heating in it. All right, no, I didn't want that. I'll put a little bit of forest in it. Um, he said, there's no heating. I had been there once in December, and I said I'd never do it again, because I, I nearly had bloody frostbite in my toes. I went out to one of their bargain poundy type shops, and I got um, five pack pairs of socks couple of pairs of gloves each some ha woolly hats and we were absolutely I mean we had thick coats and jumpers and things on and we were still froze it was absolutely freezing I had a blanket on me but I do worry about his hand because he's having a lot of pain now the cold because it's the first time it's felt the cold since he's had the accident and um, I have got him thermal gloves he said he's got the thermal gloves but for once he's used his nodding upstairs he's gone now filled an empty water bottle with some hot water out the tap and he said it's quite hot so he's put that round his hand his hand is holding that so um he said yeah it does feel a lot better with that but i will be glad when he gets home especially if there's more snow supposed to be on the way but you never know they say there's more snow but they can never predict quite where it's going to land if you know what i mean i mean wales isn't that big because they seem to make a mess of it all so what do you think of that two leaves done with exactly the same colors and turned out a bit different right should we quickly stick them back and then i thought what do you think i don't know whether to do blue i think i'll do some blues put a little bit of different color in there so i found some nice blue sorry i'm going across there I found a nice blue combination, which was there. Can you see it? Oops. Which is the Aquarius from Cobra, the Forget Me Not from the Black Widow, and the Blue Heaven from the Scorpion. So, should we try them? I mean, it'll probably go not look as good as I think it's going to look, but I thought they looked quite nice together. So, that's the Forget Me Not. What do we need? Blue Heaven from the Scorpions. That yeah, Blue Heaven and Aquarius, which is that one. So I'm going to do the same dark at top, dark at bottom, then alternate and then bring the light in the middle bit. <laughs> she says, Let me have a sip of my tea before it goes, you know. And before anybody says, oh, we shouldn't do it like that, we probably shouldn't, but hey-ho, I have no idea how to, to colour properly. I am watching videos and trying to learn, you know, but I do find it hard to learn things new. But I, I, I'm getting there. I've done a little, like I've done a little bit of blending the colour. Might not be the best, but at least I've done some. You know, I'm having a go. That's what I was looking for. I'm having a go, and I think as long as you have a go at stuff. But I think the next one I do, I think what I might do is just do it all one colour. Go back to complete basics. Just have one picture that's got no shading in it whatsoever, and just gonna like colour all that in one blue that all in one green and do that and see how that looks and I did think about um, maybe showing you all the pictures that I have coloured in like on my um, imagine imagine morpher is it nanomorphia 
done some in them some in this one and then some are making me cheapy books so I don't know if any of you would be interested in seeing a flip through of what the ones that I have done I mean if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen some of the ones I've done like the horse one with all the the main the his mane as flowers I did enjoy that one and the elephant and they are quite enjoyable but they're very intricate there's very lots and lots of small little bits in there right what did we say next that one. so I thought I might do that concentration the tongue stuck out then <laughs> good job you can't see my face what did you see was this witch's face with her tongue stuck out the chin stuck out the tongue stuck out glasses sliding down my nose and it's strange how when you concentrate you start pulling all these different faces the girls don't half laugh at me sometimes but I don't mind Jess said she might come in and join me colouring but I think she's what found something to watch on Netflix and she's cooked up I think with a quilt on the settee so I can't say I blame her oh I must say thank you to everybody that's come in and subbed to me I think I was on Hun. Well, I was on 1,012, then I went back down to 1,010, which is fine, because I was amazed that I, I, you know, kept the 1,000. So I thank every single one that's ever subbed to me. I'm so appreciative, I really are, to hit that 1,000. I still burst into tears now thinking about it. I can feel myself welling up. But these people have uh, come to watch me. You know, it does, uh, does bring you to tears and it's very humbling. So I do thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I said the next milestone is getting my watch hours up. Um, I've been trying to be consistent with the videos. So I thought if I do some colouring videos, because I enjoy that, and some diamond painting um, videos, and I might throw in, in December, a couple of my crafty ones when I make stuff for Christmas. I might throw in a couple of them. Oh, talking of Christmas. You know, I was saying, I think I was saying on my live, was I saying on my live or on my last whip and chat? I can't remember. About make, Millie wanted to make these orange slices. Well, we bought some oranges today, so we're having a practice run. So they are in the oven. She's just turned them over because we're doing it on a baking sheet. Um, and she's the one side that's baked looks lovely so we've turned them over we've got them doing really slow but oh the house smells nice it's not overpowering orangey smell it's just a nice subtle citrusy smell so i'm looking so we've only put one orange in at the moment um just to see how they turn out if they turn out i said we might get some lemons and do some old lemons as well and see how they turn out But yeah, she really wants to do them. So um, she researched it the easiest way. And I said, it's got to be easy. I can't be doing this thing, found and leave it for so long, then get, do something else to it, then leave it. And, you know, ones that put all these different things on it. I said, just want the basic. I said, you can add stuff to it at a later date. You know, you can sew stuff onto it or whatever or thread it through. But I did say to her, we've got thin card now, when you pull it out to make a hole in it. Because I don't know, I can't remember, do they go crispy crispy, you know, quite hard and brittle if you try to stick a hole in it. So I said to her, you know, we don't want to not be able to put a hole in it. So I said it might be best to punch a hole in it when it comes out the oven. If anybody knows of a better way or should we have, now I think, should we have put a hole in it before it actually went in the oven? Because that might have been wise, mightn't it? <laughs> but I haven't been known to be a wise person. Oh, I never thought of that. I knew it was coming in my head then. 
Well, Caroline. Oh, that doesn't look brilliant, does it? I always resort to my full name when, I, when I'm annoyed with myself or I don't like something I'm colouring or doing. It's like, you know, when your mother calls you by your full name, you know you're in trouble or done something. I'm a bit like that when I talk to myself. What I might do is go back over it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out because I'm showing you that, you know, I'm learning. I'm trying to work out what's good, what's not. I need a bit of that one to blend it more. But hey ho, if I put a bit darker with them in. Tongue's back out, sorry guys. Maybe that didn't blend it up enough. Or maybe I think I might have pressed a bit hard. I'm a bit heavy handed. You know, when you're your colouring, I tend to press a bit too hard sometimes. I don't mean to, um, but I can't help it. You know, when I realise it's usually too late, I've already burnished it in sort of thing. But this is how we learn in it and I thought well I'll bring you on my journey of learning and I might encourage people like me that's only just starting on the colouring road to say no do you know what I can have a go at it if that woman on there can do it she might be making a hash of some of it but some of it looks okay and she's still going forward so I'm not hiding anything from you we're doing experimenting all together that looks a bit better doesn't it now I'm going over it again and don't ask me about the light source and all that malarkey I ain't I have been listening to a few but it hasn't sunk in yet you know I might suss one one object one flower or one character or whatever I'm drawing I think, oh yeah, I know it on that one. And then I go to the next bit on the drawing and I ain't got a clue. I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs> no. But one step at a time, innit? I said, I don't care if it takes me 10 years to learn how to do things. And on another hand, I don't really have to know all the ins and outs of it, do I? As long as I'm content doing it. See, they look better now, don't they? Now I've gone over it again. I don't know who that was. I think that was. I did say to hubby, don't text or anything. That doesn't mean that he won't. Look at that. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? So the key there was to go back over it. I know they're saying about layering, and I haven't sussed that out at all, but. I'm just going to go back over it like that. What do you think? Maybe it looks all right. It looks quite nice against them, doesn't it? Right, should we do some... Do we put these in the same, yeah? So we'll do the outer leaves. I'm not sure I'm going to do the inner bits. We'll just do the outers, yeah? We'll just do the outers. And try and blend it up, Caroline, blend it up. A little bit of dark there, blender. Oh yeah, I'll give you an update on Dad. I can call back past my place after visiting my sister. It's still in a bit of a state. He went in and seen the bank. I said, I've been trying to ring you. He said, oh yeah, I don't know, I don't know, put my phone in my pocket, turned it on silent. 
Listen, he said he just didn't want to speak to anybody. I said, well, I can't understood that. But um, I said, how'd you get on the bank? I said, did you tell him what I told you to say? He said, yeah. He said, they were very, very good. They said, because he can't remember how much information he gave out, nothing had gone out of his bank so far. So that was a good thing. So he doesn't think he'd give it out, but he knows to definitely, definitely give out some of the numbers. But he thinks it was only four of the 12 numbers. But... She said, because he can't really remember and he's got himself in such a tiz over it all. Um, she said, you know, you're better off just voiding this card now and we'll arrange for a new one. She said, draw what money you'll need for the week out now. Um, and she said, you can always come in, you know, and, and draw some more out with your, your checkbook like. And she said, and, the, and she knows him personally anyway. And she said, and I can always vouch for you. Um, because my mum can't have a card now because of her dementia. So, you know, she couldn't even, you know, go through my mum. Um, so um, he did feel a bit better then. So he come here Thursday. Still upset. And I said, look, I said, you know what happened to Josh? I said. I said, you know, I forever get in calls. And I said, on a bad day, you know, I've really got to struggle with myself, you know. Because I said, they get you in so worked up. I said, you know, then they seem <coughs> so legit. I said, these people are so nice on the phone to you. I said, you know, you're not going to be the only one. And you're not going to be the last one that they, they, they dupe into giving them information, you know. But... You know, he's 82 and he can't understand why people are that mean in the world. And to, to be truthful, I'm with him on that. So I said to you lot, I just don't understand how anyone can live with themselves knowing that they are taking money off the vulnerable. You know, I could, well, I couldn't, I don't condone somebody that um, does it, but, you know, like Robin Hood took from the rich to give to the poor. I mean, I don't think that's right but you could understand that a bit more but these people are taken off of people that absolutely need this money you know they're living hand to mouth like their pensions are nothing and it, it's just heartbreaking uh, oh yesterday mum and dad come they've been to the funeral yesterday and they come and call past you to see the kids and Josh, which is not, he's not about very often. I mean, he, he always, always gives my nan and granddad, his nan and granddad a hug and a kiss. I mean, I've not had a hug of, and a kiss on jo of Joshua for seven years. But he always gives them one because he says they need it. And he was in the front room with his nanny. And then she went to the toilet and he came in and he said, got a fiver in his hand. He said, oh, Nana's given me a fiver. And Grandpa said, oh, that's nice. And he said, no. He said, she, she doesn't really know what, she, what she's doing, Grandpa. He said, she thinks it's my birthday. He said, don't tell her I'd give it you back. He said, but put it back in her purse because she might fret later that she's lost, you know, lost this fibre. And Dad was going, oh, no, she gave it to you. Can't give it back. And Josh said, yeah. He said, please, Grampy, because she will. She'll panic later and think that she's lost this money that's in her purse because she's always, always going on that she's got no money. And she stashes it all over the place. Dad counted it up the other day. In every compartment, you know, you like you have little slots for cards and then you have a zip for money and then you have another slot for put your notes in and another slot for that. He said when he emptied all the slots, there was over £130 in her purse and she said she hadn't got anything like. So he put it all back like, but he, he said, but I, I can say to her, no, I bet you got it. Remember you put it in there, love. Go and have a look in there. So yeah, so Josh give it back. So dad was a bit upset. But uh, she didn't know. Well, I said, it doesn't matter. And I said, she did it in good intention. You know. But I was proud of Josh. He didn't let on to Nan that, uh, you know, there was a, that it wasn't his birthday and it wasn't wrong because she would have got really agitated. If you try and correct her when she's in dementia mode, you just, oh, it's awful. She becomes quite aggressive. So um, I've said to the kids, you know, just just play along with Annie. Um, 
I said, you know, unless it's endangering, of course, but um, I said, and we can sort it out after. But it's upset Josh a bit as well, because it's, I mean, he's experienced, out of the three, he's experienced more of them, um, where she goes back in time and stuff. But, um, but yeah, the girls were quite shocked. Millie had to go out and get her because she, Dad had put her in the car while he come and got some stuff out of the house that he wanted. Um, only some egg, old egg trays and stuff to take back to the farm and um, to get some more eggs. And next thing we look out the window and here she's coming back out the car. Although he's told her to stay there because he's just coming back in to get these stuff because he took her to the car and then save us going out in the rain. He said, I'll come back in. So Millie quickly put her shoes on and went out and brought Nanny back in. And she said, oh, I thought we'd, we'd just come, aren't we visiting? And he said, Beth, we've just been in here. We were just on our way home. Oh, oh, yes, she said, yes, yes. She said, i just come to see where you are. So Millie was a bit like, what's going on? So I explained again that, you know, she said, oh, Nanny was all right one minute. And then she says strange things. So I've got on a leaflet today on it, a little bit of um, simple reading, as they call it, to try and get them to understand it. Not that I understand it, because I can't decide what type of dementia my mum's got. Whether she's got a few of them or what, I don't know. All they can tell us is, yes, she's got it, but which form of dementia, they don't know. I didn't realise there was all different types until... She was seeing a dementia specialist, but apparently there is. What do you think then, guys? What do you think? What colour should we do the, the inside of it there? Oh, sorry, you can't see that bit. I do apologise. Right, should we do it pinky pinks? Have we got any pinky pinks on you? We could do cyanide pink, fairy floss and a toadstool to be the middle of it. What do you think of that? Cyanide pink. Oh, hang on. Let me turn that off. Hang on, I'll just turn you off for a sec because that's the oranges. Ah, oh, yes, that's Millie's oranges out the oven, aren't they, Mel? Yeah. So she's just poking holes in. So we burnt a couple, haven't we? Yeah. So you think maybe it was slightly too long, the two hours, weren't we? An hour one side, an hour the other side. So you think we'll reduce it down, won't we? Mm -hmm. Maybe three quarters an hour one side, yeah, three quarters an hour the other side. But, um... There's only two that isn't usable though, isn't there? Yeah. And they smell lovely. Mm. Don't they? Maybe yeah. She wants to just quickly show you. For so our first attempt. For our first attempt. The tray is kind of hot, so I'm holding our mittens. Yeah. So first attempt, that's our first ever attempt at doing them. So, although a few are caught, but them three there look nice. Yeah. So... And they smell lovely. Yes, yeah, so I've got cyanide pink, fairy floss, toadstool. So, mm. what, Bab? Yeah, in the shed. Loads of it in a box. Oh, you know where that cabinet is, the back of a chair? Yeah. In there. Be careful, though. It's very, very slippy out there. Okay. Do not fall and break your leg, please. Hard decking back is like a... In death trap it's that slippy when it's been raining and check dad's canopy as well for me yeah. where grant works he's got um like a canopy that he's fixed to wood but it's if it rains heavy it um you know sags in the middle so um you have to because last was it last year or the year before it snowed and we didn't get the snow off it in time and it snowed really heavy overnight and it absolutely crushed the frame and ripped the canopy. So that's why he's put it on a wooden frame now. But it's the same canopy. And I think that the weight of water would do the same. Because it you know it just bows slightly. So um yeah, I think it's a good idea to just keep poking, get a broom, and use the broom end and just hit it up out of the way. I like these colours, you know, because it was a four colour combination, because that was my four colour combination. 
after I was doing some flowers on another book to experimenting on leaves, you know, the flower petals, I mean. Um, but I've taken the yellow off and just used the other three colours for this and it's working quite well. Quite like it. And they probably don't have a pinky inside, but I don't care because it's my picture and I want to put a pinky inside, so I'm going to put a pinky inside. So that one's that one done. So can you see any more? You see them? They look quite nice, don't they? They're coming together, isn't it? Got to admit. Right. What should we do? Should we do one more? One more leaf? Should we? Millie was saying oranges and yellows for a leaf. So I'm thinking, what's that colour there? What colour is a carrot? That's quite orangey, isn't it? So what should we go with an orange? So I'm going to go back to these. I found a carrot there. So I'm going to have a look what else would go. I could do with like a ready orange really, couldn't we? That rattle, rattlesnake there is quite nice, isn't it? What, what one sets? That's Cobra. Rattlesnake, we'll have that one. So do we want that underneath the carrot? Yeah, we'll have that underneath the carrot. And so we've got that one, that one. And like an orangey. What about the egg yolk there? Should we try them? What's that spider? Which is the black we go? Egg yolk. That's banana. That's lemon. Now, I actually like that one because it's a lot shorter look than that one. So let's try that. So we decided that one was going to go on the bottom and that one on the top. Ooh, I like them. You know, you said about, about doing oranges and yellow for yeah. a leaf. What do you think? No, they look really good. Yeah. Did you find some? I couldn't find ribbon, but I found purple string. You know where you go in, where the chair is here? Yeah, You've got that open cabinet there, I couldn't see it right either. on the bottom at the back. It's in a box. Well, it's if it's not there, outside, just, just might. There's a pile of um, cloth there. It might be under there. Okay. Well, is that purple? I'll just use this. Pen. Okay. Right, guys. Let's try this out. Let's see if it's going to work. What leaves do you think I should use this on, Mel's? Mm -hmm. Come choose. Shall I use the little ones? These here. Um. Um, and then I can put spots of, of this colour everywhere on the smaller leaves. Because I have some there, um, some there, some there, some there, some there. You see like um, like these type leaves That's because ones you I get mean. them down That's here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Them there. These little ones here. Yeah, like the little leaves. Like the little leaves, because yeah. Because it will go well with this. Right. Yeah. So we can bl guys, we can blame Millie now if it doesn't work out. Mm. I don't, need jogging, Millie Moo. I need jogging. I don't suggest getting outside. It's so cold it makes you feel sick. How does it? Is the decking slippy? Um, it's wet, but it's not like overly slippy. And I pushed any water out of the. Um, oh, I put the wrong colour down first. Does it matter? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Never mind. I pushed any it. water out of the canopy. Was there much in there from earlier? There wasn't a lot, but there was like little bits. So it doesn't matter that I put the wrong colour, do we care? No, we don't. All leaves are different, aren't they, Mel? Yeah. We were looking the other week, she was moaning because they were only going green and brown, weren't you? Yeah. She said, oh, Why are they oranges and yellows? Where are they? They haven't got any this year. And now everything's turned orange and yellow, isn't it? Yeah. All the trees. It's all going to fall off quite quickly. Yeah. That works really well. Is it? Yeah. Even though I made a mess of the first colour. But... <gasps> Why? Well, not every 
combination of that colour has to be exactly the same. That's what I'm it? saying. Every leaf is different, isn't it? So they actually look really good. Good. Co oh, a candle. We got candles burning as well. Maybe we bought another spice berry and apple, didn't we? Because we mm. run out of that one. Was it last week or the week before on the yes. live? Yeah. And what's your green one that you made up? Um, it was the green bit is mahogany apple, which we got from Blue Nan. And then there was white, which we put on top of it, which was the leftover from the like fresh linen uh, candle. We melted them down and just put them in a smaller one. Yeah, that's the one. The green one is the one Millie used all over. You know, you get leftover candle in your jar. Well, she got a piece of string, stuck it in the hot wax, didn't you? Yeah. Covered while I helped as well. Um, so that was her wig. 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 Any string, you know, thin string. And then she just cut all her wax up, didn't you? Put it in a dish, melted it, poured it back into a clean jar. Held the... What did we have? Oh, we tied the string to a pencil, and, didn't uh, we? Not pencil, a kebab stick. Kebab stick. And put the kebab, kebab sticks across the, the jar, when it? So it would hold the wick in the middle yeah. until it's set. And it works really well. I mean, it's still... The only downfall is ago. it goes... You know, you haven't got... doesn't burn properly straight down because i haven't got the, we didn't get the wick central but when that's done we'll just do it again because it was so cheap and easy wasn't it yeah i said i won't be chucking out wax again anyway Ta -da. yeah guys look she's put it on a string bit one yeah hey see practice on these ones yeah we'll practice stuff on these ones and then we'll do some ribbon more on the other one, but I find yeah it. well we'll get some nice ribbon We'll do all the experiments on this one. Yeah. I might get some star, what was it, star Star anise or something like that. Yeah, get some of that. And sew it into the middle. Or sometimes they sew like, um, I don't know what it's actually called, but it kind of looks like, you know the green bits on lavender? Well, I don't think it is the lavender, I don't know. Like green leaf things that they tie to them. Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. yeah they look really cool though. I'm going to have to have a look out for them then. Ooh, I'm liking this colour combination. So I'm going to have to put this down on my piece of paper. Get your claws out of my shoe. Because I like it. And this would be quite good as a flower one as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. That'll look actually really cool. Look. Yeah, yeah, some flower leaves. The petals of a flower yeah. would work well in this, these colours, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, there's a cat coming now, folks. You coming to say hello? Come and say hello, then. No, too shy? Too shy of the camera? I think they might have caught your paw. I think they might have caught your paw. Hey, you want to come and say hello to Mama? Puss, puss. Move the candle so she can walk across. Maybe that's what's stopping her. No, she walked over it earlier. No, she's gone down. That's uh, the black one. You probably saw her poor. She's a uh, schizophrenia. Smell? Mmm, orangey, orangey, orangey. It makes me hungry. Yeah, that's the one that's bipolar. She's been very loving at the moment, isn't she? She's got us all very worried. After treats. Yeah, she wants time. treats all the time, her sweeties. But she comes along and she puts her paws on your, che or your chest and then she rubs into you. And you're all holding your breath because you think she's going to skag you next because she is known to just turn and skag you. So nobody trusts her. Do they, Molly? But she is beautiful. It's Jessie. Jessie's in the front room on the set. He cuts you down. No, she's not. Jessie, oh, Jessie. Yes, she is. Who's been in? Huh? I didn't see him. Yeah, she was watching um, H2O, was it? Yeah, the programme's paused. Yeah, I'm sure she's, she's in the front room. Oh, I don't know. She's in that. She's here somewhere. Now she's in her bedroom. That's gone upstairs because she popped her head in. So, I don't know. Awful when you've lost your children, isn't it? No, she's definitely in the house. She hasn't gone out because she's in her pyjamas. She said she's staying in her pyjamas today. It's too cold to go out, isn't it? It is too cold to go out. This is a good one. Can I show them this one? Cause it's you can, just you know where to put it. This is the 
better ones. Yeah, that's the ones that that's what we're aiming for. Yeah, they're the ones where I tap it then. So we might Just try some lemons covered. as well. Yeah, that'll be cool. Mm. I like decorating them with other things will look good as well. Well, yeah, well, you can choose whatever you want, can't you? There's a shed full of stuff, so. Just go for it, innit? I'm supposed to be making some, what is it, chapata bread? Is that how you say it? Chapata. Chapata bread. I've got, and I must admit, I am cheating. I've got one of these um, pasta sack things, I'll show them now. Not that. What thing? The, there, the packet there. Oh, yeah, the chapata flour. But it's, I know, it's actually the chapata bread, bread. Bread mix, look. That's what I'm going to use. Well, no, it's because I couldn't find any, and the boys wanted some. So I couldn't find any. And it was one sixty for a little loaf that your dad bought the other day. Well, that was only, I think, a pound twenty for the whole packet. Wow. So. And we finally and it, found peanut butter, didn't we? Yeah, we've been looking for peanut butter. Because the dog always has... It. If I have peanut butter on toast for breakfast or lunch, depending, um, she always has a little bit of my peanut butter on toast. And I haven't had any because I run out. And the shelf's been empty in the supermarket but Millie came with me today and she said oh, I'll just get on my knees and have a look at the back of the shelf and by gum there was one right at the very very back because it was right on the bottom shelf so I couldn't get down there mm. so the dog was very very happy wasn't she mm -hmm. bless her so she's got her peanut butter so they look really well now we both got to love these colours combinations even though I can't draw in the right place. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Everybody see okay? Why is that doing that to me? My computer is making a whirling noise if you're wondering what that is. Oh, Grand chair, he's got his rich swatch from the hospital to test his oxygen levels. And his pulse rate at night because I think I think he stops breathing in the night and that might be causing some of his issues. So they said if they put this wrist watch on for three nights, and then if he stops, it will register his oxygen level dropping. I suppose your pulse rate drops right down as well then, I suppose. And then they'll decide where to go, but um he said he went to the clinic and he said he, said, he was, wasn't there long, they were quick. He said, but uh, he said he did feel awkward in there. I said, why? I said, you're skinny. He said, yeah, well, usually not being horrible. He said, but it's big people that usually suffer from sleep apnea. So he said, I think that I feel like I must be doing something wrong if I've got it. I said, doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what size you are. Mm -hmm. He hates things like that, doesn't he, Mel? He hates yeah. hospitals. He always gets embarrassed. If anything's wrong with him, that he shouldn't be there. I said, oh, it affects everybody. Don't matter who you are, where you are oh. in the world. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But I said, so shut up, get on with it. Put it on. We've got to take it back Monday. But he does, he's doesn't get his next appointment until bloody February, believe it or not, to, to discuss the results. February, I mean, something else could have happened by then. But I suppose, well, hopefully, I'm hoping that means that if, if they find anything on the tape that they'll contact him before. So yeah, if they haven't, con good. yeah, and if they don't contact him, then it must be good news. This is what we're hoping. I'll just finish these couple and then I'll let you lovely I'll show you what it looks like close up and then I'll let you lovely people go. Maybe still threading a oranges, aren't you, Mel's? Mm -hmm. 
it's so peaceful. Candles are going. I can hear Lily doing a little oranges. Wherever Jessie is, she's quiet. The dog's on the stairs sleeping, isn't she, Mel? Waiting for her daddy. Yeah. Ooh, I like them a lot. So there you go, guys. Right. So that's what we've done today. Ooh, hold on. Let me see. The oranges, the blues are the flowers, and then the oranges are them. Oh, you seen it, Mel's? Yeah. So it's coming along nicely, that one is. So I'll love you and leave you. Oh, I'm going to have to write them colours on there as well. So I'll add them on here. Um... Thank you all for watching my video. We much appreciate it. And we many, many moves. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, I'd really appreciate it. There's a button down below. And there's a little bell by the side that will notify you when we go live, which is all usually on a Sunday, more often than not, isn't it? It's usually only if I'm ill that I don't go live. Um, comments down below, which we love reading and answering. Also, details down below that if you're too shy to leave a comment but still like to talk to me, there's details down below. So take care, look after yourself, speak soon. Bye.